Well, I think the uh, market is uh, trying to tell us the worst is over in terms of immediate crisis impact. And now we just have to assess the damage. And uh, there you get these kind of reactions depending on how severe uh, these, uh, the fall actually is. But I think it's a, it's a very kind of uh, supporting sign that we'll see also on bad news, bad numbers, um, some positive reaction now and then. It seems like markets are kind of getting back to some kind of normalcy. Christian, the question really is, um, to what extent is the market able to price in the consequence of this crisis? And while we're grappling with the data we're just beginning to see here, there is really at this point no knowing just how many jobs are going to be lost and how much of that demand destruction is permanent demand lost at this point. So how can we come up with a rational way of trying to assess the pricing the market is doing. What is good value at the moment for the FTSE or the Swiss E or, or, or any other uh, market metric? Yeah, I think that's what uh, market's been struggling, especially in the uh, kind of a ramp up of the crisis. And now as we see kind of the, the peak in ma on many uh, levels, actually, uh, you know, the, the data will tell us and I think it will remain a very data dependent uh, market from here onwards because uh, so far we've been in on many levels in, in blind flight and now we see these kind of exact numbers which are happening you know we get to update on non-farm payrolls in may and and you know we'll just be able to to grasp more with was actually or what is going on but I, I fully agree you know there's still a, a high level of uncertainty which is also reflected in some of the asset prices being high yield spread being um, you know, where, where, uh, where uh, volatility is in equity markets. So I think it will remain uh, a kind of a rough ride in the next few weeks. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.